okay so uh, the second numerical um, the issue with that is uh, the frequency and uh, um, wait and the velocities are given in si units okay and the uh, answer for the um, wavelength is given in terms of angstroms so so basically what you have to do is you have to convert that into si units you convert the angstroms into uh, nanometers say for example and then when you convert it into nanometers then you will you should be able to because the answer will come out in terms of meters because hertz is oscillations per second uh, number of oscillations per second which is uh, in uh, uh, si and the speed of light is also given in meters per second so both being si the answer when you do the calculation will also end up in si it's a little bit of a tedious uh, calculation um, and i'm sure and uh, i doubt if they will again ask questions based on this but they just might so it will be better if you are uh, prepared for uh, such things uh, if you want to be in the highest percentile okay um anything else about that any other question yeah okay i the, yeah it is exercise 6a i think the question was also about 6a um white light is also called visible white light yeah ishan is clarifying that white light is also called uh, visible white light so yeah the white light includes all the colors of the spectrum so i suppose that you, it is valid to also call it white light okay that's a correction uh, on my part hmm yes uh, vaishnavi if you have to yeah go ahead so yeah go ahead so for the first numerical last numerical yeah first one first one first one okay so i it i you have to find the frequency right so the the equation will be f is equal to speed of light by wavelength right yeah uh, yeah you have to use the equation v is equal to uh, f times lambda so since you have been asked to find uh, the wavelength that is lambda it will be v upon f correct yes then so they've given the wavelength as 550 nm thing the wavelength is 550 uh, nanometer ah you are yeah. talking about the first one okay yeah. oh sorry sorry so you are talking about the first one uh, so that that changes no the velocity we have will have to be v is equal to f times lambda you have to use it in the original form so you are saying the answer doesn't come out right 550 nanometers means 550 times 10 power minus 9 right yeah. multiplied by oh you have to find out the frequency sorry i'm i'm getting all confused over here v upon uh, lambda so so you will find out the frequency by dividing the wavelength that is no v upon this thing right so 3 times 10 power 8 divided by uh, 550 times 10 power minus 9 okay mm. so what happens if if that is calculated it doesn't give you the right answer i am not getting the right answer i don't know why oh uh, well uh, let me see if i am carrying my calculator because at least that much part i have to do it with the calculator so uh, we'll get uh, 3 divided by 550 times 10 power 8 Uh, plus nine, right? Your indices, yeah. yeah if you have got yeah. your indices correct, uh, uh, Shravan, are you having some difficulty logging in? You keep coming in and going out. Some problem with the internet? 
if there is a problem with the internet shravan just come to the uh, room okay so um, so then if you divide 3 by 550 Uh, then you get 5.45 times 10 power minus 3. This is set in scientific, so it comes out like that. 5.45 times 10 power minus 3 times uh, 10 power 9 and 8 is 17. So 17 minus 3 is 14. So you will get uh, times 10 power 14. And uh, is that the answer that is given? Yeah, it's just the answer that is given. so somewhere i think i think you are messing up the calculation so that may be the problem over there okay mm. so 3 by 550 probably is that is where the problem is because this part of it is straight forward there is no issues with that the 3 by 550 you have to uh, work it out are you allowed use of a calculator vishnu no you are not okay so then you have to practice questions like this so that you don't uh, make a mistake during the exam Okay. Uh, anything else? I didn't do the second numerical. Which numerical? The second one. Second. Yeah. So it's it's basically using the same equation. Uh, only thing is you have an upper limit and a lower limit. So you have to find out both the upper limit and the lower limit using the same equation. Okay. So uh, give it a shot. If you don't get it, we will discuss it on Monday. Anyway. Okay, so if there aren't any more questions, then uh, we should uh, move on to the uh, next section. Um,